All right, we're gonna look at a push. Well, it's not a push mower. It's a self-propel mower and a weed eater I got for free. If you guys are interested in watching, stay tuned, and we're gonna start turning some wrenches. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the video. My name is John, and my friends call me Turning Wrenches 85 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing good so far today. Uh, right now we are sitting on, what day is this? Uh, you guys are probably going to see this late sometime in May or sometime in June. It is May 6th right now at the filming of this video here. It is, um, I picked this up a while back. So like I said, by the time I see, you guys keep this video, I'll probably have this mower sold. Uh, they're, um. I'm wearing my Cubs hat today. Go Cubs. I'm originally from the Chicagoland area there. So, um, anyway, today I'm going to show you guys this, um, there's, there's, there's a Facebook Marketplace ad. And, you know, it's hard to turn down stuff that's free when you got plenty to do. Uh, so I picked up this, it was a weed eater and a, a Troy Belt self propelled mower uh, here. It's uh, got the Quantum engine, one of my favorite engines to work on besides the classics. So, uh, I'll turn you guys around real quick. You guys can take a look at them. Here they are. Uh, they were combined both for free, so no big deal. Thank you, Southwest Airlines, for interrupting the video. Anyway, this is it right here. Uh, we got a home light weed eater, and we got a self-propelled mower Troy built with the 190cc engine there. Uh, Let's see, this is made in October of 2011. Let's see if we can get an actual date. Uh, 11, 10, so three, it's actually March, well it says 10, 3, 2011. Okay, so uh, October 3rd, 2011, okay, on that one. So, uh, decent shape, and then we got this weed eater here. Uh, got these to whack, um, not really a big fan of those, but, eh, okay. Anyway, uh, we got these, I don't know if they run yet, we're gonna find out today. Uh, we'll see if we can get one of these two going, maybe we'll do a separate video on these things, but we'll just check them out and see. Maybe we can get one of these things fixed today. So, um, here. Um, I'm going to throw a disclaimer out here right now. I did take the blade off of this one because I needed it for another mower ASAP. So this one had a decent blade so I took it off of there. So right, right now I robbed the blade off of this one here. But um, So I'll have to throw a blade on there just to see what it'll do. I'll just throw a 20 inch blade on there right now just to do it. I think I got another blade. Uh, somebody actually sent me a blade. Uh, a company sent me out a blade to try out. So this will be a good opportunity for it. But right now we're going to throw this uh, a blade on there just to see how it runs there. And then uh, we'll check out this home light weed eater. Uh, what year is this thing? Let's check real quick. What well, we got in here? Um, it's got fuel in it. Uh, looks like we're looking at 2015 on the date model here. Okay. It's got some gas. Two-stroke mix in there. It looks decent I don't know probably not probably not fresh notice on this en engine on the quantum it's got a lot of oil build up so I don't know what's going on with that hopefully enough it's not a oil leak and um, they were missing the shoulder bolt they put in here so I was wondering where the eyelet it was for the recoil it's down here they stuck it in there so I'm gonna have to take that out and fix that so uh anyway let's get some tools together let's ch check on the maybe the weed eater first and see what that'll do and then we'll go from there and we'll see which one we want to mess with first and then we'll work on the mower next so uh I'll bring you guys back let me get some tools together just in case we need them all right let's check on the home light uh trimmer first i don't think we're going to need it but Got some carb cleaner there just in case we need it. So let's get my kneeling pad down here. 
Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's see if we got any uh, good pullover. Okay. Uh, I can hear the bump, 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 but you know, it's not. All right, let's see. Is it gonna prime anything? Let's try. It's pushing for you on there. Um, let me show you guys what it's what the fuel looks like real quick. It primed, but uh, I'm gonna run it on what it's got. That's what's in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of light bluish, so it's a good sign. So maybe you know somebody tried to do something with it. So let me get you guys up this way. Can you guys see me? How do I look? Okay. Uh, it's on start. So let's see what it does. sign but it didn't flip over this thing I mean all it needs a uh, adjustment on the the high mix it looks like let me go uh shoot I didn't bring any carburetor tool uh, what do I need hang on uh, it looks like it looks like it's blind it's so rusty though I can't tell all right well let me go get that and then we'll see. Hey, that's awesome. I didn't have to worry about uh, maybe just do a carburetor adjustment on the on the on the high woes. Okay, let's check that out real quick. Okay, I went in my uh, I have my bag. I, I can't find them. That all my uh, I had some hype uh, uh, two-stroke uh, adjustments. I found these in my other toolbox, but uh, it takes the Pac-Man. I looked real quick before I popped the camera on, so it needs that. So. Let me get my kneeling pad down here. And uh, I think it looks like the high side. we got to just turn up just a little bit. Here, let's see. High side is right there. Let me start it back up again. Uh-huh. 
Go check the um, Troy belt mower and see what's uh, going on with that. Okay, so uh, bring you guys back on that one. Let's check that one out. All right, let's take a look at this uh, Troy belt mower here. I right, threw a, a 20 inch blade on there. That's not supposed to be for this. It's supposed to be 21, but I got one I can throw on there. It's no big deal. But right now it's just a blade to see when we crank it over. So let's check. The main things here first. That oil looks dirty, but that fools you. You have to wipe the dipstick off, put it back on there again, and uh, we got something, but it's not much. So, okay. Have to be very careful on that one. It's going to need oil change. That's for sure. It's got oil, but not enough. Maybe enough to do something. Uh, we got anything that, that resembles fuel. The gas tank is empty. That could be a good sign, that could be a bad sign. Now, here's my next question. Let me get my 516th nut driver here. One thing I'm worried about is what does the air filter look like? So let me get you guys over here. Put this on here. that off of there it's kind of wet I'm sort of nosing so the carburetor was leaking at one time I smell old gas oh shoot holy crap well <laughs> that ain't gonna run with that one holy crap look at that oh okay eh. Unfortunately, the carburetor was leaking. Oh, man, look at that. That stuck my finger in that carburetor thing. Oi. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um. Well, let's see how good the engine sounds. Let's, let me get some car carb spray. Here. Get you guys over here. Bring you guys around this way. Bring you guys there. Set you guys up that way. I don't know. This might be an ultrasonic cleaner thing if we have to get this one out. I don't know. Let's uh, spray some in here. It just, the choke doesn't move. Really? That's interesting. 
Oh, it moved, but it, it gummed up. I just want to hear it. Have we got a healthy engine or not? Is this even worth fixing? Let's see. Cable needs some lube on it. Oh, that's right. I'm looking up here. Uh, let's pull it. Down. Let's pull it. Here we go. One, two. Okay. Well, I didn't hear no knock. Okay, this is, why would you, oh. Okay, let's get this off of here. First of all, because number one, this is driving me nuts. Put this up here. Let's fix that real quick. Let's, uh, let's nip that in the bud right now. Okay. I mean, it's a good quick fix, I guess, but well, I would hate to have to reach down to try to start it, start the engine. All right, let's do anything again. Let's try it one more time. Let's give it some more go-go juice. We're going to have to do an ultrasonic clean on this one. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Okay. So it will run. We're going to have to just take that carburetor off. So let me get some tools together. Let's get this carburetor off. And, uh, Go from there, okay? So bring you guys back. All right, got everything to get this off of here. Hopefully, apart from a pair of pliers, but uh, really we should only need. Well, let's get the cover off of here first. It's just two Phillips screws, almost like dry. Uh, Self tapping screws. Take that off. Take this off. Oh, okay, that just. Okay, that works. Hey, man. Oi, okay. We're gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> Alright, a couple of eights here. Take off. One right there. One right there. And. One right there. Okay, well the gasket's still on there. Man, look at all this. Okay, um, man, this thing is so varnished. I got my ultrasonic cleaner warming up as we speak. So the throttle was bent back uh, for the governor. It was pushed back some, so it's not in the middle where it would normally be. Okay, so we need a quarter inch to get uh, that off for the, um, the auto choke lever. Not a five sixteenth, a quarter inch. <laughs> okay, that gets that off of there. All right. Now we got three eighths bolts we need to take off of here as well. Here. Um, have to grab my clamps. Okay, let's get the three eighths bolts off here at least. Um, got one three eighths right here, and then we got one three eighths right here. Oh, there we go. Put them right there on the deck so that way I don't lose them. Okay, so let's see. Oh well. I gotta get that fuel line off. Okay, let me grab the. Let me see. 
grab some pliers. I had some sitting here. Some pliers. I thought I had the pliers out here with me. Okay. I can smell the varnish. Whew! You guys only, you only had smell a vision. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to try to save this one. Fuel line doesn't look too bad. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to have to clean that out. Okay. Get this off of here. All right. One dirty carburetor. I don't hear the needle moving. It's probably stuck. All right, let me get my tray. And, uh, uh, I'm about to clean that fuel line out really bad. But, uh, this tank's going to get cleaned out anyway, so it doesn't matter. Either way, so. All right, let's, uh, let me get the tray out. We're going to take this thing apart somehow and uh, see what it looks like. We already know what it's going to look like. All right, guys. You guys are down at the same level I am, just about. Almost. So. Get you guys right there. So you guys can see me. Normally you wouldn't take an impact to do this, but just got a feeling. That uh, we are all varnished up and we are. Look at that green gas. Alright. Now this is the part I'm worried about. looking at you guys see all that goodness look at all that even that little floaty right there isn't that cool should I try to drink it no <coughs> never mind <coughs> we are not gonna touch that with a 10 foot pole okay um that's sort of moving good lord this thing needs a Need a date with the ultrasonic cleaner. Really bad. Um, look at all that rusted up. I mean, for the most part, it's clean. Is there any way I could peel this off of here without damaging it? Stick it on the air cleaner and get it off of there. And it kind of tore. I don't know. We'll see. I got another one I can throw on it. It's no big deal. Ugh. I gotta clean this thing off though before we can even do anything with it. Now the question is, the only problem is I need this. You know what? I gotta clean this off so. Let me do this so I don't ruin the gasket. What I'm about to do. So. Hey, it's got the original Briggs and Stratton logo on it. So that's probably the original OG for this thing, huh? That's what it looks like. I mean, we gotta clean it off before I throw it in my ultrasonic cleaner anyway, so. I 
I think I'm going to do it, do it that way. Because I know sometimes carburetor spray doesn't get everything. So. All right. Anyway, we're gonna run it through the ultra, <coughs> run it through the ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna clean some stuff up. I'm gonna clean that uh, that uh, air filter housing cover. Get that all cleaned up while we're waiting. So, uh, and then uh, bring you guys back, and then we'll try to assemble this thing and see if we can save it or not. It's gonna be fun though. So we'll try it. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back after it's through. Okay, here's the progress. I took my air compressor and I blew it out. I even blew around the deck. There, I got some of that oil uh, debris out of there. Some, there's still some there, so it's, when it gets a wash, it'll look better. You know what? Can I get this thing off of here? I hate these things. I hate these things with a passion. Can I get them? Yeah. Aw. Can I? Can I? Yes, thank you. I hate those things. I hate those price tags they put on there. It came from Lowe's. Um, like I said, I cleaned it up best I could. Took the air filter uh, housing and cleaned that up. Even the PV, PVC line for it as well. That's all cleaned out. So all this is all cleaned out with the air, oops, sorry, air compressor. I went and sprayed carburetor spray in that tank. And blew it out with my air compressor. There was a lot of yellow that came out of that tank as well. And it started coming out clear after that. So that's all done. As well. Let me show you guys the carburetor real quick. Because you guys were not going to believe this if I told you. That ultrasonic cleaner I got. The bigger one. Does wonders. I don't know if you saw it. I had a Welsh plug. It actually came out of here. I don't know if you guys saw it. It was rusty. And all that. So I had to dig with my magna magnet to get that out which I didn't clean this too bad I just blew it out all this out here's the Welsh plug right here take a look at this I didn't even touch it I was gonna take a wire brush and and clean it look at this flip it on the other side look at this it looks spotless just about let me get you in the light see isn't that cool I pulled that out of there I couldn't believe it I thought I had to scrub it down with a wire brush at least that's awesome so I'm gonna put the carburetor back unless you guys want to watch me do it but you guys are more than welcome to so I might do that real quick let me go uh, set you up we'll put the carburetor on and we'll check it out and see if everything's going good and I'll also clean out the fuel line as well I took a the best I could to get to, some of that debris out of there so I had to go through with a pipe brush so yeah, let's put the carburetor back together real quick. So let me guys uh, get you set up and we'll uh, put the carburetor back on together. All right, gotta do this on the trunk of my mom's car. So I blew everything out, cleaned everything, so uh, you guys can see all that. I didn't even have to touch the main jet. You guys saw how bad that was varnished. I pulled that out of there. I just blew compressed air out of it. It's blowing out of the, all the holes there. So. You know, go figure on that one. See? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. That ultrasonic cleaner did did wonders. So I'm going to put this Welsh plug back on here. Try to. And I'm a, I'm a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to use the... To try to seat that back. Okay, there we go. Let's put that Welsh plug back in there where it belongs. 
So, now we just need to put the needle on there. This is right here. So I cleaned off the needle as well. So we've got to put that on there like so. We'll check the float. See how good it's floating. So put the pin on here like so. It is kind of up though. So I don't know. Let's see. See, listen. So it's sealing. See? Turn it up. Even though it's up. Probably could use another needle and seat, probably. We'll try it out. I think it worked though. I know it's supposed to be flat, I'm not supposed to be up, but the uh, gasket stayed intact, so put that on there. Little washers in there, so let's put this back on here, like so. And I got a half inch uh, socket. I'm not doing no impact, so. Just gotta make it snug. And there we go. Sounds better than what it did, so let's see. Let's try it again. Now, it's closed. And I can't blow. Okay. I think we got this, so I'm gonna go put this on the mower real quick. And, uh,. We'll actually put everything back together. I'll put you guys on a time lapse and you guys can see me watching me put back back together real quick. So uh, we'll put everything back on that Troy built and we'll see if it will fire up. Carburetor's leaking, you gotta be kidding me. What happened? Dang it. Uh. What happened? Come on, come on.
don't know why. So the carburetor's leaking great. Uh, okay. Something else to sort out.